All right. Well, we're at 10 o'clock anyway. No more time for some of my good jokes. Uh, welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of the Long Coffee Break. I'm Bobby Henderson. Uh, I work in our hydronics and plumbing group. Uh, today with me is Sarah Dunlop from Bosch Thermo Technology. She's going to talk to you about uh, their SSB modular condensing boiler and how we have lots of them in stock for your immediate uh, boiler replacement needs. Um, please, as always, remember to stick around to the end. This week, we've got some very special uh, Bosch giveaways, so please don't miss out on that. And without further ado, Sarah, please take it away. Thanks, Bobby. So we want to make sure you know that we have Bosch boilers available for you. Um, you can get them immediately if you need a replacement or if you have a project that's fast moving. But, but let me tell you a little bit about them um, so you know what you're getting. So they are modular. Um, they have modularity and redundancy built into them, which I think is very important for you to, to know. Um, you can have many smaller units uh, to make up your complete heating load. They're very easy to repair and service. You can see here on this front of the unit, it's actually a hinge door. So it opens up so you can have access to the components inside. And there is a touch screen on the front. You can see it there, um, kind of on the upper side of the door. So you can have uh, access to uh, what's going on with your system with not just the single boiler, but the entire um, system. So the advantages of having a modular system is the cycling reduction. So you have an increase in efficiency because it operates at a steady state to meet your heating load. You don't have to have one boiler that's taking care of the entire load and cycling to meet your requirements. You have multiple units, so you can have one boiler running to meet your load rather than having everything running at the same time. So what that does is it extends your life cycle so you can have another boiler running and as runtime changes and you can um, change out which one is the lead, which is the lag, so you can extend your life cycle of your system. So there's a minimal clearance required because of the size. You don't need access from the top or from the back. So it's very simple to install. Uh, so if you need it to replace something or if you have very limited uh, space in your mechanical room, you have uh, easy access to install it. So let's take a heating load about two and a half million. So in a traditional design, you're gonna have two boilers that take care of 67% of that load. So for that, you would probably have two large 2 million BTU boilers, which would give you a total of 4 million BTU. Now with the modular design, you can do three 1 million BTU boilers. So you can do three SSBTLs in this case, which would give you a full redundancy within your system. So you wouldn't have just the three operating as one single boiler, but you would have that built-in redundancy, which would also be a smaller footprint, smaller size within your space. So our SSB comes in 800 and 1,000. So 800 or a million BTU. It's 90%, 6% thermal efficient. Um, we have various vent uh, capabilities, and you could have connections on the right or left side. So just depending on your space, you can have them all on the right, all on the left, or a combination of the two. You can cascade up to 8 million BTU, which is actually four units that are physically connected, and then eight units that are connected for, via a controller. They do come with their own dedicated boiler pumps, and it has a 10-year non-prorated heat exchanger warranty. Uh, we have BACnet and LawnWorks. Uh, normally we see BACnet, but if you had an existing building that had LawnWorks, you can connect it to the existing system. So the heat exchanger is stainless steel. It has a high delta T. You can have between 27 and 54 degree delta T. It has a larger pipe diameter, which is important because if you have anything, any particulates in your water, um, any dirt, it's not gonna clog as, easy, as easily as maybe another um, type of heat exchanger. There are no welds, so you won't have any stresses on them from expansion and contraction within that water. And one thing to note here, our 
heat exchanger is in a vertical position. So if there's any particulates within the burner stream, it's all of those are gonna land down on the plate. They're not gonna land on the pipes themselves, which those can be corrosive um, and could cause failure over time if you have too many landing on your heat exchanger and then not being cleaned possibly in a timely manner. So it's something that's key with our unit. With the D platform, which is what we call the 800 and the million um, BTU, this is what the enclosure looks like. That silver panel actually folds down and there's a controller for each side of the unit. So there's ideally two boilers within there. You have a heat, two heat exchangers, two wheel pumps. You can isolate one completely. So if you need to clean it uh, about every two years, you can isolate one, have the other unit completely running while you're doing that. So you don't have any downtime in your system. You can see the headers for the flue and the vent at the top, and then your supply and return piping is at the bottom. So each heat exchanger has a five to one turn down. So in the single cabinet, you have a 10 to one. When you do four 1 million, you get your 40 to one turn down for your whole system. Uh, there is a uh, connection for the right and left side here I mentioned before. Uh, and then the 10 year heat exchanger warranty that I mentioned. One thing to know is although this shows the door open with the hinge door, you can actually take off all the panels. Most of the, the, all the service can be done from the front, but if for some reason you need to get something, you can take off the side panels, you can take off the back panel, um, if for some reason you needed to have access to other components that maybe you needed to reach easier. So the SSB is provided with all of the components that are here labeled with a letter. So the AG, HJ, all of the gaskets, um, those are all included when it's shipped with the unit. Uh, what needs to be done in the field is very minimal, but it's that air, the flu, the return, and the supply piping. So it just makes it very simple. So you don't have to go look for components. All of them are provided. And then whatever parts you, what connections you're not using, they're just um, blanked off. So you don't have to worry about that. So currently what we see in a non-modular system is you have three boilers. They're all individually filled piped, um, piped to the primary pump, piped to your gas inlet, um, your regulator, all of those are done separately. There's extensive filled piping that's done as well as extensive spec specification. So every unit, every part, every component has to have a spec section and possibly multiple vendors. So there's probably si there's a sizing risk um, with that, as well as space constraints. And there is opportunity for installation error. I'm sure none of the contractors on here would have a, an issue with that, but there are some that may have a, have a challenge with some of these. It just happens. Well, with our simplified primary secondary system, we have a compact footprint. There is no filled piping required between the units. We provide all of the connections, connections that you need. And so there is really no gap in between them. And all of the factory size boiler connections are provided for you so you know um, what to connect to. So you also have a very easy specification process as well as a single source. You can reach out to your contact at Long and they can provide you with the components you need. Here you see a rendering of our low loss header, which has the hydraulic air, dirt, magnetic separator all included. And we actually do provide all of the piping from the SSB to the low loss header. And all that needs to be connected is your secondary pump. Well, your contact at log again can help you if you have any additional questions on this component. So this is a control system. As I mentioned, it can connect up to 16 boilers. It is four that are physically connected, eight that are connected via the control system. You can do your outdoor reset, you can do your back net uh, communication, all of your uh, start stop rates, firing rate status, tells you which boiler is the lead boiler. This is all from the front panel, so you don't have to worry about um, opening up the door to see what's going on with the unit itself. If a lead pump, lead boiler does go down, the other units will continue to run. It won't shut down the complete system until you have an opportunity to go in and take a look at what's going on. So this is, if you were to put one, two, three, four of our SSBs together, this is really how it would look in the field. 
So in the next slide, we show the installation assembly process. So this they put on rails. It's not required, but for this assembly, it made it really simple because you can make sure that those two are aligned. And so when you go to the connectors, you're gonna make sure they're gonna fit and align evenly. So what they did is they put one on the rail, added the second and slid it over with the connectors. So now it's connected. There's a very minimal space, just enough to have the connectors in there to have it installed. And so you're not losing any space um, within your room. So in this case, they actually piped everything from the right side. It just worked for their, their building. And so that's something that could be done. It could have, they could have used the other side as well. But here they did everything from the right, which then connected to their secondary system. So this one here, just a comparison. So if you look on the left, it's a very simple, clean installation with the four 1 million uh, boilers. There is connections on this from the left side. I think they might have the uh, flu on the right or in the back there, but there's no need to have clearance on the top. The only thing you see at the top are the electrical connectors. There's room to open the doors so they can access everything. Uh, on the picture to the right, you can see it's a little more cramped. It may be just a space, but to note there, there is need for a clearance on the top and space between the boilers themselves. Um, generally, they're gonna have that requirement where it then expands your footprint within the space as well. So started with saying that we have current stock and availability. So one thing we want to make sure is if you have a building that's down, a building doesn't have enough capacity, we wanna make sure that we meet those needs. One thing I didn't mention was that these fit through a Mandor. So I had a project recently they went through an elevator and then brought it up a stairway to get it to the roof, um, the roof mechanical room. Fits through a man door, you don't need to make any space within your, your walls or break anything down or expand your door because it fits right through. Well, we wanna make sure that we're there for you if you have a system that's down, if you have a quick project, um, in order to do so, we have stock available. So we have plenty of our 800s, of our 1000s. We don't expect these to be something that's gonna sit around. We do have, want this to be a revolving door as people need stuff that we meet their needs. So if you needed something tomorrow, depending on the time, if you got your order in, we might be able to ship it out tomorrow. Um, then just a matter of, of shipping time in order to get to you. So go to, our prizes for our coffee break. Do you uh, want to take that? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it from here, Sarah. Thank you so much. So again, you know, modularity, right? Flexible installation, flexible move-in, and uh, and these things are sitting in stock. So great products, definitely for your immediate needs this summer. Um, obviously, if if you've got boiler replacements that need to get done before the heating season. Uh, Bosch may have a solution here for you. So if you got more questions uh, about the Bosch product or really any application you might be working on, certainly reach out to your sales representative. And with that, I think one more slide, Sarah. Thank you guys all very much for coming this week. We'll look forward to seeing you all next week. Uh, Nick Bryant will be talking to us about Dykin Water Source heat pumps. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day.